Hello and welcome everyone. This is Chris from England doing a special video for you on the Learn English as Easy as Pie Facebook page and thanks to the admin there, Mojtaba Yagubi, for contacting me and giving me the idea for this video. Today I'm going to be discussing and giving you resources about how to learn English as a second language and particularly from a British perspective. So if you check maybe on YouTube in the description, or uh, I can forward this document to Mojtaba to share as well, there's a, a long list of websites which you can use. But first of all, let's have a quick think about the different ways that it's possible to learn a language. There are four really important ones, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. But there are other things you can do as well, like watching television and movies, listening to music and the radio, chatting online, and there's also some kinds of visual tools. For example, uh, Learn English as Easy as Pi always share visual vocabulary on Facebook, which is really useful. So all these different ways to learn a language such as English. And if you check out the list in the YouTube description, you're going to find a lot of websites which I will discuss now which will help you in terms of finding the resources you need to improve your English. First off, let's go through the list. And just in case you don't know it already, the Learn English as Easy as Pi Facebook page with my friend Mojtaba, please uh, like that and you will receive lots of useful material every day. So then looking at, for example, music, can be really useful listening to the lyrics to help you learn new expressions. If you go to YouTube, for example, one really useful way to improve is if you type the song name you want to listen to and then type with lyrics, you can find the song and then you can read the lyrics as well. I'm sure that there will be videos for that for almost every song now. So try that, I think that can help you a lot. Now under that there are more websites and these ones I must say are especially for British English. I'm from England so I'm going to be giving you resources mainly for British English which is slightly different from American English for example. So please be aware of that. I've given you a few of my own websites at the top there. The YouTube channel if you want to look at my channel or subscribe I'm going to post many videos in the future to help you. But also if you go now, you're going to find dozens already. Everything is free to help you with British English, British pronunciation, British accent training, virtually everything really to do with British English. So please use that if it's useful for you. I also have a Twitter account and a, a blog site that everyone is welcome to use. It's all free. So. Now moving on below that, I want to introduce you, maybe you, you know about these sites already because they're very famous, but if you don't, you should really have a look because uh, these are the sites which can help you for everything about learning English. So the BBC, generally reading, you can find everything you need there. So I've given you the, the main page for the news. So I recommend looking at that every day you might not understand everything to begin with, but it can help you to learn and to understand more and more every day. Then below that, I've got their own Learn English homepage. They have so many resources for learning English. Virtually any question you need, you can search for it, and you are probably going to find a really great answer. So check that one out as well. And then of course they also do the radio. The problem is that if you're in different countries you might not be able to listen or watch everything but they do one called World Service. I give you the website for that particular radio station and I think you should be able to use that. Below that it's the British Council with their Learn English homepage and the British Council are the centre for a lot of things for learning English as a foreign language so I really recommend you use and explore that website and if you are coming here maybe to study or to work 
you are probably going to do the IELTS exam and it consists mainly of four bits the reading, writing, listening, speaking. So here I give you their official homepage and below that a really really useful one the website where you can find their practice exams, practice questions and you can rehearse that. So if you have to do IELTS those are the websites you need to improve your scores. And also uh, TOEFL is a type of exam so I put that there but probably you will need IELTS. Below that for a bit of fun how British are you? It's a quiz. You can fill in the questions. You choose the answer for you. At the end, you will get a score. I think that I am 75% British, so let's see if you can do better. In terms of chatting, interacting, on the internet, it's not always easy. I have to be honest, but there are three really popular websites which you should use if you don't already. The top one, my favourite, Busu where you can find free courses for everything and you can chat or maybe speak to native speakers. Live Mosha, again, similar to Busu. And Interpals, I think that one is mainly for writing. So three ones there where you can find millions of native speakers which you might be able to contact and communicate with. Give them all a try. You will need to register, but everything is free and they are really amazing resources. So finally, we're back to Facebook again. You already know about Learn English as Easy as Pie. I really recommend that one. But also, I give you the Facebook pages for some of the sites we already discussed. The British Council Learn English page. A couple of others, Learn English Online or Learn Real English. So these are more community pages where you can get more material. The IELTS official page. And then... Basu and Live Mopcha. So that concludes the list of English resources on the internet that I wanted to share with you. It's not perfect, I know that. So maybe if you have suggestions or things you want to discuss, if you comment on the Learn English is Easy as Pie page or on the YouTube comments, then you can help others too. And please share more websites which I haven't. But remember, I'm from England, so I'm sharing British resources quite a lot here. That is the main focus. So finally, please remember uh, the Learn English as Easy as Pie Facebook page with uh, admin Mojtaba Yagubi. Every day you're going to receive loads of really great posts, learner material, so please keep checking that. My YouTube channel is full of free videos for you about British English. Everyone is welcome. You can watch the videos already or subscribe for the future ones that I do. Please do that if you want. So there we are. A big thank you to Learn English as Easy as Pi and Mojtaba, the admin there. And a big thank you to everyone for watching. I hope that this video has been useful for you and that you're able to use these websites and explore more resources for learning English. So my name is Chris and my best wishes to you all from England. I hope to see you next time.